Hi, I'm Dave Burning, a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, a member of the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Interest Group. I'm here today discussing a recent publication in Inflammatory Bowel Diseases regarding endoscopic dilatation of Crohn's disease strictures. This is an important topic in that a third of our patients at 10 years will develop strictures regarding surgery, and up to 80% of patients with Crohn's disease will have surgery over a lifetime. We know that Crohn's disease initially begins as an inflammatory process, and in many patients, unfortunately, it progresses to more a fibrostenotic disease manifesting as things such as strictures. This study, performed at four academic centers in the United Kingdom, looked at patients with Crohn's-related strictures. There were 79 total patients from four centers. What they found is that endoscopic dilatation was successful, technically successful, in more than three-fourths of the patients. Uh, clinical, clinical success defined as symptom improvement as well as the absence of surgery at follow-up was noted in 34% of the patients after the initial dilatation, and 43% of the patients benefited with subsequent dilatation. I think this is an important study as it highlights that we're moving towards non-invasive non or non-surgical approaches to many of our patients with Crohn's disease. Uh, it's yet to be determined who the ideal patients for this are. One should note that most of these strictures were quite short in length. Uh, they were two centimeters or less. And, and many of these people had post-operative strictures. These were strictures at ileoclonic anastomosis in uh, approximately 60% of the patients. We look forward to exploring this more in active research here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, as well as offering this to our patients when clinically appropriate with Crohn's disease.